Hi, I'm Ashton, and today's going to be a transition update. That's super exciting. I'm excited. So, I know just like my Tuesday video, my hair is a mess, I have glitter all over my face, but at least the angle's a little bit better, hopefully. I'm sorry about that. Um, yeah, so, in this video I'm going to be talking about testosterone updates. Today, exactly, I'm seven months on testosterone, and I will also be talking about top surgery. I'm going to go with testosterone first and build up for top surgery at the end because I have a lot to talk about there and I might make a whole separate video about the consultation process, but oh my god, this I'm excited for this video. This is going to be fun. Okay, I'm ready. Let's go. Just like I always do, I'm going to go through the list. It's going to be a bit quicker this time because I did do an update at six months, which I'll link here, but um, some things have changed and I'm going to start by talking about my dose. In the first three months, I was on a very low dose. The, thir the second three months, I was on like a slightly higher dose, but it was still quite low. And now I'm on like a decent normal person dose. Um, so I am on 0.4 milliliters of 200 milligrams per milliliter of, of depo testosterone. And I inject it into my thigh muscle, alternating thighs every other week. So every four weeks, one of my thighs gets a stabby stab. Um, <laughs> and I did one last Thursday. Um, that went really well, actually. So, yeah, I am on testosterone injections every other week. That's my dose. Um, it's still low, but things are changing quickly. And I mean, I am like a small person, so I probably don't need as much as like big, tall, strong men do. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna talk about the changes. I'm gonna go down the list and talk about all the things. Increased libido, that's a thing. Um, I don't wanna talk too much about it, just because that's like, I don't want to talk about it, but it's a thing. Um, redistribution of body fat, that still hasn't happened at all. And I know that often happens like nine months a year into transition into HRT. And I'm not there yet. And because I am on a low dose, I'm not expecting to be there anytime soon. Um, so I'm not too worried about that. But um, I do have hips and thighs and a butt. And I feel like that is very often what I get misgendered for, which is annoying. But, you know, your period stopping. This could be a whole separate video. I've talked about my period before because it has been a nuisance for me. And even six months on testosterone, I was still having issues with it. So as of now, seven months, I haven't had my period since six months, but I'm not sure if that's because of the testosterone or because I started Depo-Provera, which is a form of shot birth control. My doctor recommended it as my period wasn't stopping. And so far it has worked. I'm hoping that keeps up because my period is one of the things that I'm the most dysphoric about. Um, increased muscle mass, not really, but I don't work out. I mean, I march like three times a week, which is a workout, but like, there's no muscle there. <laughs> I'm not a muscular person. Um, like, I'm, I'm not a weak person. I'm fairly strong. My muscle just doesn't like build or show, you know? Increased sweat changes in body odor. That's definitely a thing. You know, I wash my body and it's fine. Like, it's not a big deal. Um, prominence of veins and coarser skin is also something. Um, my skin is still really soft. I'm a very soft person, but definitely in my hands, my veins are more prominent. And like, just my hands are a lot more masculine than they were before I started HRT. And I know that may not seem like something that people would notice, but I notice it and it makes me feel nice. So like, acne, acne. Ooh, ooh, we all know I have acne. Like it's very clear, but um, I would say that my acne like peaked three months in went down and now it's peaking again. And I do think that's because I did up my dose. So I think that this outburst right now is because of my upped dose. So I'm still on that cream medication that I put on problem spots. And I'm generally pretty good with taking care of my skin. I do my best. Um, but acne does tend to like calm down as your dose does, you know, plateau and your T levels plateau and your body gets used to it. So, <laughs> um, of course, the one that everyone gets excited over, deepening of the voice. Um, literally, like, a quarter of the comments I get are, oh, is your voice getting so deep? And I'm just like, yes. Because I don't notice the change because it is gradual on such a low dose. But um, I'm going to put a clip from one of my earlier videos here. Maybe just, like, a voice clip. And then you can compare that to how I sound now. So I'm just going to, like, sit here as you listen to pre-T Ashton. And this is what my voice sounds like now. 
um, growth of facial and body hair. This one's exciting. I know a lot of people get annoyed at this, but I don't mind it at all. So my armpits have stayed the same. My tummy, I have never had hair on my tummy before. And it sucks because it never shows up on camera. But along here, I do have a trail of hair. And I've never had that before, but I think it's so cute. And it's always something I've loved on guys. It's just adorable and I love it. And I don't think you'll be able to see it on camera. Like I can't take pictures of it to show you, but it is there and it makes me very happy. <laughs> um, I also have more leg hair than I did before. Um, I put a couple pictures of that in my six months on tea video, if you want to look at that. But <laughs> I have hair on my legs and before tea, it was transparent. I did not have any visible hair on my legs. So that's pretty cool and that'll probably continue. Um, and hair on my face, um, I have like a shadowish effect on my upper lip. There's definitely hair on my upper lip. Um, I apologize for the close up of my acne you're about to get, but if you can see it on my upper lip. My chin is just peach fuzz. It's like clear white still. But um, I have a singular dark hair on my chin. It's about like here. And I'm very proud of it. <laughs> but I think I am going to shave soon. And I might make a video while doing that. Like, would that be content? I don't know. Um, and I'm hoping that once I shave, it'll grow back like fast. So, <laughs> I've crossed my fingers a lot in this. Uh, what else is there? Male pattern baldness, I haven't noticed. My hair hasn't been falling out or anything. So that's a good thing. A lot of people do worry about that. My family has fairly good balding genes though, so I think I'll be fine. Bottom growth, again, I'm not gonna talk about this because it's not something I'm that comfortable sharing. Other YouTubers have done plenty of videos talking about bottom growth and their experiences and what it is. So if you're not sure, you can go watch someone else, but it's very likely not something I'll be covering now or in the future anytime soon. If you start tea before the end of puberty, you might hit a growth spurt. I started too late for that to happen, which sucks because I'm 5'4". <laughs> So, but you know, um, it's not like listed as an official change, but some guys on T do get an Adam's apple. I don't think I have one whatsoever. Um, and I may never like, I don't care all too much about that. Cause some men don't even have Adam's apples. So yeah, that is really all. Um, if there's something I didn't cover, something you want to know about testosterone, then feel free to ask in the comments. And now on to top surgery. This is the exciting part. I'm very excited to tell you about this. So, I have an appointment to go to a surgeon's office and get top surgery in 75 days. And I know that seems like a lot, but like that's not a lot of days, okay? And I am pumped and I couldn't be more excited. So I made a video like two or three months ago saying like I might be getting top surgery. And now it's like I am getting top surgery in just over two months and I can't believe it. Here's my little countdown for that. I have two months and two weeks until top surgery. Um, as of now, I'm not nervous. Um, I've never really recovered from a surgery before and I know it's going to be really difficult, especially since I do have to go back to school like two weeks after and carrying bags is gonna be a whole situation. But I, regardless, I'm extremely excited and I'm really, really looking forward to it. And I know that it's something that I need and I just, <laughs> Oh my god, I'm gonna cry um, <laughs> of happiness. So, um, if you want like a whole video on the consultation, I would be very happy to do that. I did have a consultation two or three weeks ago, and that is when we talked about um, how we want to do my nipples, because there's two different ways of doing nipples. Um, what type of top surgery would work best for my chest size? I'm sorry, I'm just like... Uh, <laughs> what kind of timing would work, how it would intersect with school, what recovery will be like, stuff like that. Um, so we just went over stuff that I already knew a lot of, um, but you know, my parents may not have. So that is happening. I can't believe I can say that. Um, the only complication with top surgery is that my insurance is a little bit iffy on it. So my insurance is generally pretty good. It covers my testosterone. Um, however, it only covers top surgery 
if you're over 18, which I'm not, we all know this, right? Um, so I can get it covered if we fill out a bunch of paperwork and go to like different doctors, or like my doctors clearly, but doctors that'll sign for it and stuff. So we need to get to work on that soon because like top surgery is happening in like two months and I don't know how long this paperwork will take to get through to the insurance company and stuff, but um, it's gonna happen and I'm really excited. If the insurance doesn't work, um, I have enough saved up to pay for like half of it, but it is, you know, what I'm saving up for college, but it, it'd be worth it. I would, I would give up all my savings to even pay for half of this surgery. And then I don't know where I'd get the other half of the money, but I'll, I'll manage and hopefully my insurance will be able to cover it. So, so yeah, I'm going to be getting top surgery. <sighs> I definitely have more to talk about top surgery wise as you can tell I'm like super excited about it um ah so <laughs> yeah if you have any questions should I do like a top surgery Q&A or should I talk about the consultation um what I am going to do maybe this weekend is I'm gonna film a bath time another bath video um, talking about like my excitement for top surgery and more about the consultation. So if you have any questions that you want me to answer in that video, then um, I guess this is where you'd put them. We'll see. We'll figure it out. We got this. It's fine. Okay. <sighs> With all of that said, <laughs> it's time for me to go. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you have a a very, very, very incredible rest of your week. And I'll talk to you later, maybe.